Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to make product animation. First, I'll import these images as reference for modeling. And in this, we'll start modeling with plane. I'll add a plane. Here you can see nothing. So rotate in X axis like this. Go to edit mode, select the face, subdivide once and select this three face, delete it. Now add mirror modifier. Apply the rotation and scale values to zero. In mirror modifier, enable the Z axis mirror also so that it will be edited in all four sides. Now delete only faces so that it will retain only vertex. Now in the corner, we need to bevel. So use control shift B to bevel vertex. Now select the loop, extrude once inside. Now we need to solve this n gone. So I'll select this three segments, extrude in Z axis, and I will add a loop cut, and I will bevel for three times. Select this inside loop, deselect these three segments, and I'll bridge it. And I'll select this loop and I'll fill. Now select the outer loop and move it in Y axis. Here we need to adjust the shape. So insert a edge loop. So as you can see there's a little bit round here. And a subdivision surface. Okay. Now I'll select this edge loop. Duplicate. Shift D. Extrude once. And we'll scale it. Because here a thickness is there. So we need to scale this. Little up like this. I will separate this. Now, I'll match this according to reference. And we need one more depth here. Select, extrude once. So again, duplicate this. Extrude once and adjust. Add one more loop cut. Select these three segments and extrude it for four times. Select the edge loop, deselect this three segment and bridge it. After that, select this loop and fill. So for this button, you can add a cube. Add segments in between and add subdivision modifier. Okay, so the same buttons, you can duplicate and keep it here also. Now we'll start making the camera. Go to back view. So for this rounded rectangle, I will be using same method. Okay, now we will make this camera. Increase the poly count. So here add a loop cut and select this face scale it inside extrude this once scale it and move it backward add shade smooth and go to normals and switch on auto smooth so extrude one more time extrude once now here extrude for two times and move this face little back select this loop right click mark sharp and this one also here i will add a spear you can duplicate the same set we'll unite all this check as you can see the camera it is overlapped with this model so we need a hole here we will duplicate this full set only this extra camera duplicate control j to combine so this will be our boolean with okay. boolean we don't require any of this polygon we require only these you can press control i to select invert and i'll delete this face 
now select this object go to modifier add boolean now i'll select this boolean object now if i hide this boolean object you can see the detail now we will make some booleans at the bottom because as you can see there is a charging slot speaker and sim slot we will start with the plane 